What's good? It's your boy Nico coming to you live and just what? Mm, I know you felt that in your spirit, but guess what? I'm about to react to some new gameplay. Um, oh, looks like the developers of Atomic Heart is like kind of the best way I could describe it is dystopian, trippy, open world sci-fi horror. Um. That's, I think it's from a Russian developer. Looks really interesting. Looks really visually pleasing. Looks really trippy. I'm excited about it. I've been looking out for this game because I heard there might be RPG elements. And these games are, like, when there's a really, really good horror game. And it kind of mixes in other elements of other genres. That's, like, a big, big deal. So, we're going to check it out. And, um. Uh, I'm not going to be able to pause it because I'm doing this directly from a source, uh, but we're just going to talk about the video. I'm going to do a reaction to this and then we're just going to talk about it. And this is Atomic Heart gameplay, new trailer, new gameplay, whatever you want to call it. They released it and it looks like it's going to be fire. So here we go. Okay. Yep, so it is like sci fi horror. Oh, snap. The comrades are coming together. One fish. Oh, yeah, it's definitely Russian. So, this is like a sci fi horror open world with RPG elements. Mm, comrade. Very, very good. It says go forward, so let's go forward. <laughs> Woo, it's gonna be good. I'm excited. <clears throat> it's giving me major. <clears throat> it's like trippy Bioshock. Does this dude have a rail gun? But I'd be scared that these robot creatures will come to life. I'd totally shoot them before I even get a chance to run up on me. They're they're getting they're getting R three easily right off the rip like for real I'm not playing with them don't pull up on me that's all I'm gonna say don't pull up on me <laughs> these robots do not want it oh my god it's a whole city the Russian voice acting is getting better and better too. A lot of these Russian game developers. What the? Oh, the bugs just ripped out of those people or creatures. I don't know what's happening down there. Oh my god. Oh, they're coming for you, bro. If you don't shoot them, if you don't shoot them, I'm going to need you to shoot them. Yes, sir. Yeah, get about the jam. Oh! Okay! Melee! Oh, you're getting ate up. Mm. You're getting eat up. Mm. Hold up. Yeet! Oh, yeah, that's definitely. Come on. Mm. Oh, he flew past you. Oh. It's like a bug. Meat meets a leaf. Leafy is here. <laughs> Yeet! Mm. You ain't coming back for no sequel, boy. The music, though. Mm, I see it, I see it, I see it. Combat, combat look like it's actually kind of intuitive and tight. Okay. There's definitely going to be crafting. You can tell by the weapon types. Everything looks like a, it's kind of like jerry-rigged weaponry. Is he going to jump down there? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love games that have these type of elements. Oh, that's disgusting. Woo! He can hack into the... Okay. You totally got me hooked. I am down. Mm. Oh, yeah? Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> they're, they, they're winning me. And I've already kept my eyes out for this. Mm, see? I told y'all. What did I say? I said, them things come to life, start swinging on you. 
You gotta beat them before they even get up. My goodness, these things are not playing with you. Wait, what other hacking abilities do you have? Hmm, go to sleep. Reminds you of the Synthoids from Fallout. I love the visual aesthetic of this game as well. It reminds me of, uh, what is that old movie? Metropolis. It looks like Metropolis. But it also gives me major, like, uh, God, I can't remember the, the name of the show with uh, Janelle Monet. It's called, uh, Electric... It's like Electrical Re Requiem. Somebody help me out in the comments. That game... It's a, it's a TV show on Amazon. Prime. It's about to go down. Oh, there's definitely some... Mm -mm. You saved yourself right there. Charge that whole move up. Mm. He's not playing with you. I like the creature designs too. Like those those bugs. So it looks like you can charge up like off of these battery packs that you can carry. Woo! That's some frantic combat. So it looks like you decided to switch out the the, the gun for like the actual melee combat. Pink. I wonder how ammunition works in this game too. Let's see this. I feel like I'm in the game. I feel like I'm playing. I'm finna be full control. I'm finna be. I'm in this. <laughs> Let's go. I hope that this is coming out on all consoles. It's not just a PC game. I would like to play this if, if I do decide to get a PS5. Uh, it'd be nice to have this. Ooh! Clutch! Is he gonna jump? He's gonna use the stairs. Oh, wow! He turned that mug on like a chainsaw. Let's go! He has a gun in it? He had... They stress me out. He has, like... What? He has, like, a... Oh, word? Say less. Say psych right now. Y'all, y'all doing the most, and I like it. Mm. Is that a kill cam? Please tell me you can escape. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, kill it with fire. Oh, no. No, no. No, no. Get out of the jam. Get out the jam. Get out the jam. Nah, boy. You're done for. Ooh. Yikes. I think that means death in Russian. Atomic Heart. Coming to PlayStation 5. And most likely PC. Oh, it's coming to Xbox. Now, of course, you gotta say. Okay. 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 Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Add the damage list. to your wish list. Monfish, you do a very good job. I like. We have to discuss what we just saw. Oh, snap! I feel like I'm getting turned up just looking at this little gameplay. So, okay. Supposed to be one of those visually appealing horror games with, like, sci-fi aspects, and it's, but it's dystopian. And I think this takes place in, like, some, like, dystopian Russia. And, like, there's like theme parks and stuff, and there's like this like, you know, like your Fallout like vault type life. And there's like robots everywhere. They haven't really explained the story much, and I'm just really excited. As you can tell, I'm hyped and I'm excited, especially now that I see like there's probably gonna be like level up paths, and you can obviously I said it in there. There's crafting, of course. I'm excited. I really really love games like this. Uh, anything of particular note that I would bring up or mention. It might be... It looks like there might be Eldritch Horrors and Abominations and Creatures, but we don't know their source. We don't know if they were caused by whatever ended the world or if the world even ended or if, like, we don't know what the main threat is. Is it the robots? Is it the 
shadow creatures? Is it the weird bugs that are popping out of things? We don't know. I really like the designs of the creatures and stuff so far. I wonder what the NPCs look like. If they're going to be robot NPCs or if there's going to be other types of NPCs like other human beings. Um, I want to learn more about the like cybernetic thing. Like the like wires that come out of your hand that let you hack stuff and recharge your like uh, tech or weapons. I want to know how that stuff works. Uh, hopefully, it looks like it's actually... Like the combat looks like they really put a lot of work into it. I'm really excited for that. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, hit me up. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, let me know if you're excited for this game. If I put this game on your radar. If you didn't know anything about this game even coming out, just let me know. Um, anything else that I can add? Not really. I just really like games like that. Like the style and the design are really aesthetically pleasing. And those are the type of games that you immerse into the world and the, the fear comes from what you don't see or what you're not prepared to see. It's that fear of the unknown, but it's also engaging. And uh, the graphic fidelity of the game is beautiful, especially for a next gen. Um, all the new games should look like they're going to be on the next gen. They shouldn't look like a game from PS3 that's been in development for 12 years and suddenly got a graphical buff because of ray tracing. So with that said, I'm out. Take care. I love you guys. Uh, tune in next time. Uh, hopefully, we get some more information on this game down the line. I'm going to be bringing you guys some more uh, gaming news and information as well. And then I'm also going to be doing a couple of uh, videos about other things like uh, mental health and I think uh, learning disabilities. Stick with me and I hope you guys are staying safe and being kind to each other. I will tune in with you again. Take care and peace. What's good? It's your boy Nico coming to you live. And as always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell. And as always, as usual, I love you all. Peace.